Hi YouTube, this is my video review of the Asus P8 P67 motherboard. This is a Intel 1155 LGA socket. Uh, just got this today. I've sort of run out of desk space but this should be enough so let's start by looking at the packaging. Uh, you can see it's got all the sort of technology labels that's the new EFI BIOS it's more like a graphical user interface it's got SATA 6 gigabytes per second uh, which is faster and extra ports it's got Bluetooth Go on it we'll get into that a bit later on as DGVRM I think that's more for precise voltage calculation uh, it's got revision 3.0 because the chipset did have a problem. I think it was due to the SATA or SATA ports. Uh, it is the new P67 motherboard. Um, so sort of the same thing here has been advertised. Uh, going to the side of it. So sort of your usual multi-language guide there. And at the back you can see all the sort of technologies listed uh, briefly go through there, it's just a diagram I leave that on for a second in case you want to pause it uh, these are sort of the technologies if I sort of zoom into it so LGA115 P67 chipset it's got four DIMM slots, up to 32 gigabyte memory DDR3, to a support of maximum with overclock 21333. Um, it's got one PCI Express. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just open the box up so you can have a better visual. Keep the camera steady. Right, I know you hate going for accessories first, so let's just get to the main board. Comes in a standard anti static bagging. So if you open that, and here we are. So I'll hold this up to the camera a bit more closer. Sort of highlight the new revision just to make sure that you won't have any problems and sort of remind you to fix everything all right you've got a heat sink the layout seems very clean and you've got the back here all the ports you've got the typical legacy ports uh, is that I assume is the Bluetooth go You've got USB 2.0, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. And that would be USB 3.0, two of them. You've got your high definition audio. You've got your LAN port, Firewire. Comes with your IO back plate. This one has got some sort of padding on it. Open it up here. It's not very sharp, so you ain't gonna cut your fingers. But it's it's more quality than your average one. Uh, you have got your quick connectors, your starter cables, and extra USB, and an e on here. And another SAT cable. You have your DGVRM and BT Go user manual. Quick start guide and the user guide. And of course, you have your installation CD here. All right. Now this needs to go inside my system. As you can see, it's ready for a motherboard. 
thanks for watching please subscribe so just going for a quick overview I just put in my crucial ballistics tracer DDR3 and those are the brackets for my fan that's going to go on which is this one